All right, so for a quick, easy, real quick summary for acute renal failure, you have two types of acute renal failure. You have intrarenal and you have pre-renal failure, okay? Intrarenal is more serious than pre-renal. What do your kidneys do? Your kidneys do three things in terms of filtering. Your kidneys filter hydrogen ions, which are very acidic. Your kidney filters urea, which comes in the form of BUN, blood urea nitrogen. Your kidneys also filter creatinine. How are your labs going to look? You're gonna might you might have um, if your hydrogen ions are not getting out of the body through the urine, you're gonna have your ABGs show metabolic acidosis possibly. With um, your patient who is in the oliguric phase, your sodium is going to be depleted. Your calcium is going to go down as well. The oliguric phase of acute renal failure means that we're not peeing. We need to push your patient into this diuretic phase. So without PP, we're going to be holding on to our potassium. So your potassium is going to be higher. With your calcium being depleted, remember calcium and phosphate go hand in hand in terms of on a teeter-totter. Your phosphate is going to be higher and elevated. Your BUN and your creat are going to be off. Okay. Now if it is a 10 to 1 ratio, this is your intrarenal. If it is a 20 to 1 ratio, this is your pre-renal. So just make sure you're looking at your labs, making sure if you have a high creat, that is very serious for your an indication of acute renal failure. You probably need to call the doctor, get an order to start fluids, to start dopamine, to start getting your patient prepared and pushing them into that diuretic phase, okay? So next, let's go into our um, hemodialysis patients.